Welcome to Trad Disputed Questions. This is episode two with co-host Nicholas Cavazos. How you doing, brother? Doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. How are you about? How about yourself? I'll do better once I have my mid-morning cup of joe here. It's actually almost noon here in Michigan. Yeah, my question, Eastern I time. guess, is like knowing you, like what number pot are you on? Is this like pot number pot five? Number two. Pot, pot number, number two. two. Okay. I, I'm down to two pots a day, so uh, hey, we, we're improving. Good. So uh, this is a show all about trad disputed questions. That's the traditional term, questiones disputate, where Catholics get together and argue and debate about things they disagree about. And unfortunately, there's almost none of this actual true debate terrible debate people were actually seeking the truth uh so we're trying to promote that in the spirit of unite the clans and all that good stuff here at Munich catholic and i am a augustinian eastern catholic minded trad and i'm going to present a critique of various sspx positions in this broadcast and uh mr cavazos is a lefevreist trad thomist Hardcore, uh, read the entire Summa in a month-long retreat at a monastery kind of guy. So uh, he will prevent, present all of the Thomistic distinctions, which proves that I am wrong, at least as he as he believes it. And if you want this whole broadcast, you have to be a subscriber, a Patreon subscriber of Trad Thomist or Meaning of Catholic. So go to meaningofcatholic.com slash register to join the guild community. Or go to patreon.com slash traditional Thomist. And uh, Cavazos, do you have any special content or anything going on with your Patreon? What's what's uh, what's new with you? Yeah, so Patreon subscribers are actually going to get their first kind of dose of a mini-series. I think it's going to be a two or three episode mini-series that's going to be coming up on the show, kind of detailing um, all of the... I guess like personal side plus academic side of Nick Cavazos leading up to his conditional confirmation, which is going to be taking place at least at the time of this recording in a week. Um, and so they're going to get kind of a, a little bit of a cinematic mini series of me traveling, going around St. Mary's, Kansas, plus a bunch of stuff here kind of leading up to that. Um, so yeah, that'd be what they're immediately getting. And uh, it's pretty cool. Sweet. That'll be sweet to go to St. Mary's virtually. If you've never been to St. Mary's, it's an awesome place. as one of the most glorious churches in North America that's less than 10 years old. Uh, it's awesome. So we met in person there last year, and it was great. So uh, so what, what we're going to do today is we're going to talk about terminology. And this is very important because, as Humani Generis says, in its critique of the Nouvelle Teleji, it says that we cannot overthrow the terms. And that's really, that's the, that's the main factor that all trads agree on. We all agree that there was a revolution. And I think the revolution can be described as a grammatical revolution. It, it, it's a revolution in terminology. And by just changing words, that's what the Marxists do. For example, the Marxists, they use news speak and all these words and they use the words like follow the science, you know, all this stuff. We've, we've seen it all before, but this happened in the church as well. And so first we'll talk about terms that we all agree on as trads. And then we'll present, I've, I've thought of five terms that, uh, disputed terms in the trad world. I've thought of five terms that I think are, and some of them, four out of five will present a critique of the SSPX. And then Cavazos has thought of five terms. And I don't know what his terms are. He doesn't know what my terms are. So we're going to surprise each other and see what we have to say. So if you want the full broadcast, once again, meaningofcatholic.com slash register or patreon.com slash traditional Thomas. Yeah. 